Today's challenge is to follow and keep up with Marco as he makes his dish lamb on crepinette. The worst two dishes go into elimination at the end of this week and I'm worried that I'm one of them because having to re-butcher my lamb has set me three or four steps back. How's it going, Billy? Done? Yes? Not yet, Marco. Right. For the chicken mousse, we add the cream. Approx 250 mils. I'm making a chicken mousse and I, I don't know where this goes in the dish. I've made a, a mousse like this before and, and you know, put it inside tortellini or, or cooked it as a mousseline. So I, I think that the consistency that I've got here is fine, but I don't know how Marco is going to get us to use this. When you've done that, place it in your fridge. Come on, Billy. I'm finally happy with my double lamb chop, but I have to race to catch up with Marco on this chicken mousse. I'm really worried about Billy. Marco's moving really, really quickly. Your mousse should be made. At this stage, I'm thinking it will be an absolute miracle for her to pull through today. Now we need tongue, ham, truffle. For the brumoise, for the lamb chops. And let's dice the tongue, not too small and not too large. Yes, Marco. Yes, yes Marco. Marco. This is pickle tongue. It's already prepared. This is a three Michelin star dish. That means everything has to be perfect, right down to how finely I cut this tongue and ham. I'm watching you, Reynolds. Yes, Marco. Are you watching me? Yep. Is it fine enough, Reynolds? Yes, Marco. Good. Come on, Billy, you need to move on. Come on, quicker. Yes, Marco. Come on. Reynolds, you on the ham? Yep, on it now. That's it, Billy. The really big difficulty of this challenge is the uncertainty. We haven't even seen the final dish, and as I'm preparing each element, I don't know where it's going to be used or how much of it I'm even going to need. How's it going, Billy? You're happy with it? Uh, it's a little bit big, Marco. I think I need to go smaller. If it's a little too large, then just chop it through a bit. Yep. Easy, isn't it? No, Marco. So it is. <laughs> I feel like I've made up time, but I don't want to fall any further behind today, so I'm racing through this tongue, ham and truffle dice. Get it nice and fine, Billy. Then get your chicken mousse. Chicken mousse, yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Marco. Yes, Marco. Come on. Let's go, Matthew. Come on, Billy. Do you want me to leave you behind? No, Marco. There you are. Can you see? So it says binds, OK? Yep. Can you see? Yep. Can you see? Yes, Marco. Come on, keep up. Only put in the bowl what you saw with Marco, because how much mousse can you put on top of a lamb chop? Let's be honest about flavour. Remember, not too much mousse. Are you listening to me? Yes, yes Marco. Marco. Yes, Marco. Get your lamb chop and season. Salt and white pepper. Yes, Marco. Yes, yes Marco. Marco. Seize it generously. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Marco. Now, Reynolds, keep back the drop behind. Then top your mousse with the presentation side of your chop. Yes? Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Then you get your crepinette. Can you see? Can you see the crepinette? Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Which is not damaged. Crepinette is pig's gall. The crepinette is the outside fat lining from a pig's stomach. I've seen it in a lot of cookbooks. This is the first time I've used it. Wrap your cutlet when it's been topped with your farce with the crepinette. This is a really delicate process because this is a really thin film of fat. So you have to be really careful not to pierce it. It's going to act like a sausage casing, holding the mousse in place on top of the lamb. It looks like it just might burst open. A burst crepinette at this stage would be a complete disaster. The only thing I can think of is to wet the edges of the coal fat and try and stick it together. Hopefully that's enough. So you've all got your woks on, yes? Yes, yes Marco. Marco. All three of them are in trouble in one way or another. The pressure is so intense, it's even making me nervous. Split them down the middle, halfway down, because we've got to get the grit out. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Wash your leeks. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. 
take your baguette leeks and dice them. Yes. Yes, yes Marco. Marco. See, the reason why you have to answer me is because then I know th that you've taken instruction. If you don't answer me, I'll keep on asking you the same question. Yes. Yes, yes Marco. Marco. He's got his chop in the steamer, guys. Come on, Reynolds. Reynolds, are you watching me or Matthew? Watching you, Marco. Can't hide from Marco. He's got an eagle eye on everything. Reynolds, that thing should be on the gas. Come on, get it on the gas. Can you put your olive oil in? Put uh, salt in? Not yet. Is there water in there, Reynolds? No. This is multitasking to another level, having to have one eye on him, one eye on what you're doing, one ear to Marco and one ear to the gantry. Come, Reynolds, you need to get that pan. Put some water in it. It's just insanely tough. Reynolds, he's speeding up, you're not. When you've got a spare moment, wipe down. Oh. Just take your time, take your time, mate. I'm panicking at the moment. I look over at Billy, I look over at Matt. I feel really lost. Come on, Reynolds. Quickly. I'm really worried about Reynolds. His meat should have been in the steamer ages ago. I have no idea where his head is. Reynolds? Reynolds, yes. you Reynolds, you're chopped. It needs to be in the steamer. Needs to be in the steamer. He is letting the pressure get to him, and that is a one-way ticket to elimination. I'm watching you, Reynolds. Yes, Marco. Are you watching me? Yep. Next step, chop the truffle. Finely chopped. It's just for the garnish at the end, yes? Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. I used all my truffle before. I realised that I've cut up all of my truffle already to use as part of the chicken mousse. Matthew. Yes, Marco. Have you run out of truffle? Yes, Marco. That wasn't very clever of you, was it? Not particularly, Marco. I'm really worried now because if I don't have truffle to go in there, um, then my sauce isn't going to taste the same as Marco's. You know, I've already got a mistake with the lamb. I I I'm in real trouble. Matthew, get more truffle. Matthew. Yes, Marco. Come on. Thankfully, I've got some of this truffle left, but it's mixed in with the tongue and the ham. I think if I can pick some of it out, I might be able to save this sauce. My biggest concern is this is going to cost me time, and, and Marco's rushing ahead. And with your baguette leeks in a small frying pan with a little bit of butter. Come on, we need to push it. It's getting to the stage of the cook now where I have to rely on my instinct with some of these steps now. I haven't seen how much butter is put in. I know, you know, finishing off a sauce with a lot of butter is, is often a good thing. I've just got to trust myself. Matthew, regulate your temperature so if you can get that pan onto a bigger heat, it's going to be this one. butter quicker. Thanks, Sars. Then take out your leeks. Just take off the outer leaf. Yes, Marco. And then cut it on the angle. You're not looking. Do you see me, Billy? Yes, Marco. Good. I'm glad you were watching. Reynolds, watch those leaks. You're following, you're copying, but you've also got to think about what's going on here. How's the dish coming together in your head? What's it going to taste like when you should season? Mushrooms. Add the asparagus to the frying pan. Are you watching? Yes, Marco. Good. Add your cutlet to the frying pan. Roll your cutlet round. As I'm caramelising my lamb, I want to get a nice colour on it, but it's a fine line because too much heat could overcook the lamb. Add your leeks. Add your truffle juice to the pan with the cutlet. Yes? Yes, yes Marco. Marco. Good. Add your truffle. A little bit of a truffle or a little bit of butter. Remember, you're creating a little emulsion or a sauce in that pan. Plates up. Follow Marco. You need to follow him now. Your cream leaks in the middle. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. This is a crucial bit, the painting. Come on, quickly. Reynolds, Reynolds, come on. And your asparagus. Fold the leaks. Are you watching? Are you yes, watching? Marco. Yes, yes, Marco. Marco. Yes, Marco. Fold your leaks over. It means you have to burn your fingers. Burn your fingers. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. Watching Marco played up and then looking down to Billy, she's just behind him. I'm so impressed with how well she's done to catch up, considering how far behind she was at the beginning. Add your lamb. Come on, guys, let's go. This dish is coming together really quickly, and it's looking amazing. Except for the fact that I've got a giant bone that's so big that it's hanging off the side of the plate. Come on, dress, 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 come on. I've almost finished plating, but the butter from my leeks has leached out and it's ruining the presentation. I need to plate up again. What are you doing? 
What's Matt doing? Studying again is going to cost me time. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. But if I played it up the way that it is, then I'm definitely in the bottom two. Add your mushrooms. You found Marcus almost finish. He's going to finish in a second. You need to get it done. You have to get everything on the plate, get all the elements. Yes, 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 yes. I can't believe Matthew's replating. It is a huge risk. Add your trough and a little bit of your juice. The challenge ends when Marco finishes plating, and it looks like he is seconds away. Matthew could end up with nothing on his plate. Come, Matthew. Get on the plate. Finish with parsley. Come on, Billy. Keep pushing, guys. Keep going, Come Matthew. on. Come on, you can do it. As fast as you can, Matthew. Just get it on the plate. Matthew, Reynolds, Billy. Come on. Come on. Vegetables around, Matthew. Vegetables around, good mate, that's it. And then grab that sauce. Tip the sauce Mushrooms. on. Mushrooms. Tip the sauce on. I finished, come on. Go, man, go, 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 go. Sauce. Matthew, come on, buddy. Sauce. Dress come it, on, dress it, dress it, dress it, dress it. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, three.